looking for. He lost the handle on that football. Loss of six, second and 16. Lions rush three, Durant. Loads of time here, Darian Durant fires over the middle, and Todd Smith hauls it in at the first down marker. Todd Smith has been the big play guy for the Riders so far. He's come up with some clutch catches. In this ball game, the team's third leading receiver during the regular season, just behind Chris Getzlaff and Weston Dressler, 3,000-yard receivers for this team for the first time in 20 years. Four catches, 126 for Smith. A wobbler out to Taj Smith again. Well, we've seen them a number of times during the regular season hit Taj Smith on those crossing routes where he's trying to lose the corner in man-to-man -man coverage as he comes through some traffic underneath. That time, Dante Marsh stayed with him. The Lions had it well covered. That's essentially just a throwaway by Darian Durant, recognizing that there was no positive play to be had. Three receivers over 1,000 yards. Again, one of those receivers not in the game today. Riders missing Chris Getzlaff. Those three receivers finished in the top seven in the CFL. Here's the rush now. And firing out is Eron Riley, and this will depend on the spot. It looks like a favorable one. And Saskatchewan looked like they got 15 on the play, are going to be about a yard shy. It'll be third and one. Eron Riley, the number three receiver, out to that wide side of the field. Quick hook. Ball thrown on time. Five, just five catches during the regular season for Riley. No hesitation from Darian Durant today to go to the Duke product. Could be critical third down here for the Rough Riders. Uh, third and a yard. Andre Pru, our referee, signals that. And they're going to bring out some of the artillery here. Yeah, Corey Sheets, who hadn't been in for the first few plays of this drive, will be back in the backfield for this one. So third down and a yard. And Durant stays in shotgun here with Sheets behind him. Pistol formation. Third down. Sheets is stopped. Now let's see where the spot is. It looks like the BC Lions may have just stopped the Saskatchewan Rough Riders in their tracks. And you can tell by the reaction from the crowd. No reaction. This could be, it is, the first turnover of the ball game. A turnover on downs by the Rough Riders. Corey Sheets. Stopped at the line. The Riders' drive stops here. Corey Chamberlain has seen his Rough Riders turn over the ball on downs. Yesterday we talked to Mike Benavides. We asked about the collision between Corey Sheets and Adam Big Hill. He said it will be a colossal collision. Yeah, here's well, one. We've seen them meet a couple times, but here's a pretty significant one. Adam Big Hill shoots the gap, takes the legs out on Corey Sheets, knocks him off balance, allowing Corey Banks to come and clean up. Adam Big Hill for the second consecutive season. He's shut out of the finals in the awards voting, but taking nothing away from the guys who are there. Love y'all back Big home. Hill Thank you so One of the you most know. outstanding defensive players in the Canadian Football League. Perennial All-Star Adam Big Hill. Huge play. First turnover of the ball game. Under three to go, third quarter. Eight-point game and another big collision. Weldon Brown levels Steph Logan. Uh, you could use this as an, in an instructional video. Fantastic tackle by Weldon Brown. Close to the outside, gets his leverage, explodes forward, wrap up the legs and drive. Terrific defensive play by Brown, the former Edmonton Eskimo. Loss of one, quick huddle for the Lions. They come right back out. Five receivers set. 
Harris in the backfield again. Delay draw. Keith Scholl can try to chase down Harris, who is pummeled by Brackenridge out of bounds. Quick to get up, short of the first down. Guy who loves to hit Dwayne Ford. Hey, if you like football, you can't help but like Tyron Brackenridge. He had a big smile. You asked him yesterday about hitting and the fact that he he likes that free safety role and maybe, maybe get some guys in his crosshairs. He had that big smile on his face. Yeah, he sure did. He relishes a chance to lower the boom. Back to back punts now for the Lions. Getting into a field possession game now. Here in the second half. High drifting kick and it will bound into the end zone. Jock Sanders is going to give up one. And it will be a nine point game. Here in Regina, the Western semifinal, a minute to go, third quarter. Can't miss episodes of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the Goldbergs, Trophy Wife, and Person of Interest. All new Tuesdays, starting at 8, 7 Central on CTV. Let's go, right eight. Saw some fireworks offensively. In that first half, defense is settling in here now in this third quarter. Marion Durant. Fighter is able to give up only one point off that turnover. On that punt, Weston Dressler scored the Riders' touchdown. Outside, first down. <laughs> Smallest guy on the field, receiver-wise. Biggest heart, surest hands. Yeah, a little question. Weston Dressler does a nice job making the move to get to the outside on Court Parks. Looked like he had a shot at him close to the line of scrimmage. But Dressler turns it into a first down for the Riders. Guy who was picked up out of the university ranks in North Dakota in Grand Forks a few years ago. Now Sheets reverses field and is going nowhere. Jermaine Reed, one of the backup D linemen in on this sequence, makes the stop. Well, this is the BC Lions game plan. This is what their focus has been in terms of trying to contain Corey Sheets. You understand that Corey Sheets is a dominant running back. He's a guy who can absolutely turn games around, but the feeling of defensive coordinator Rich Stubler that they have to keep him inside. You can't let him bounce it to the outside. Or he gets a chance to turn it on. If they can keep it from being any of those big 10 plus yard runs, they can limit the damage of Sheets overall through the game. Deep drop for Durant. Now he takes off with that and Darian Durant goes forward. Huge run by the Rough Rider quarterback. Sprint straight ahead down to the BC 45 yard line. 15 yard gain on the final play of the third quarter. The Western semifinal. The BC Lions own a 25 to 16 lead. Two and Rough Riders down by nine. One in six in 2013, trailing after three quarters. Those numbers you see under rushing, 172 to 53, you might have thought that would have been reversed for the Rough Riders today. Yeah, for sure. When you look at the way the regular season had gone, Andrew Harris and the BC running game had been held in check by the Saskatchewan defense. Corey Sheets averaged 114 yards per game in his two appearances against BC this year. Credit the, the BC defense for what they've done against Sheets and obviously their offense and that offensive game plan for what they've been able to do in moving the football. Darian Durant told us at the beginning of the year, Mission 2K13 started early in the offseason. He poured over videotape, not of himself, but of Anthony Calvillo, all 18 games last year, and the way that the master mastered games, and he learned a lot from that. He wanted to learn how Anthony Calvillo was able to become a champion and a winner. Durant going deep. End zone now. And oh, unbelievably, G. Roy Simon couldn't make that grab. Only the second time he's looked to number 81, the former Lion, in this game. Well, there is a window where he had him. G. Roy Simon, number two receiver, coming out of the slot. Gets a nice release on the inside, straight down that seam on Josh Bell. Held up for a second. 
waiting for that football. So they don't be unable to pull it in with the leap at the last second. Durant, of course, the Rough Riders losing in 2009 in the Grey Cup, 2010. Bitter taste on his tongue from last year. They lost in Calgary in this game, the West semifinal. Now Darian Durant again, all by himself, up Main Street. Durant inside the 15, down to the 10-yard line. So just when we thought that Corey Sheets would be the weapon on the ground, it's Darian Durant himself. Well, we talked about it with Travis Lule earlier. Same goes for Darian Durant. This time of year, you do whatever it takes to buy yourself another week. And Darian Durant on this drive, a couple of huge runs, putting this team on his back, making plays here, moving the Saskatchewan Rough Riders within scoring position. Darian Durant, three carries, 55 yards, the last 35 yards. Now, Corey Sheets went down for a loss. I don't think Darian Durant learned uh, some of that running from any of the AC highlight video, but it was very interesting when he told us that at the beginning of the year and how this is all a commitment to Darian Durant to increase not only his individual numbers, but more so the team mission of winning the Grey Cup. Yeah, absolutely. Anthony Calvillo, 2009-2010. Sports a couple of great cup weight rings that Darian Durant desperately wanted and was very close to having. Yesterday, Durant also said, patience, patience is going to be virtuous today. To the end zone, touchdown, Dressler! Here come the Riders. Steph Logan has two for the Lions. Wes Dressler has two for the Riders. Yeah, the angle he takes to get there is a little bit different, but ultimately, going to the corner, just a quick step to the inside. Defenders got to honor that inside fake. Weston Dressler gets there with separation. Darian Durant puts it on the money. On the money, right back in this. Now a two-point game. Dressler scores again for the Rough Riders. Loads of time left in the Western semifinal. Western Dressler put up monster numbers last year. A little bit down production-wise, no matter. This is where Western Dressler shines. Big games. Yeah, big games, big players. Western Dressler, certainly that for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Another 1,000-yard season on his resume. A more balanced offense means 3,000 yard receivers as opposed to him being the lone guy. 13 minutes to go, fourth quarter. Winner to take on the Calgary Stampeders a week from today. They wait in the wings. Step Logan. Run down on the far side like Frank Butler. Both quarterbacks have shown great poise and patience here today. Taking what the defense gives them. Well, these are both guys who have had playoff success. Both have been to Grey Cups. They understand what's on the line. They understand what it takes to get to the big game. A terrific job both men of leading their teams. Guys who aren't dressed for the riders inciting the crowd here. They don't need any inciting right now. They are into this. Steph Logan widens the crowd for just a moment. Eight-yard pickup. The running back platoon continues. Harris back in the ball game. Now we've seen a couple long drives in this football game from the BC Lions. Eight-minute, 40-second scoring drive in the first half. Five-minute drive to start the second half. Now's the time when they need that ball control offense at its best. Second down and two. The handoff to Andrew Harris. And another first down. Former Vancouver Island Raider, Andrew Harris, former junior star. Another big carry. 
Right tackle, Javon Olafioye. He's going to kick out Alex Hall. Lead block by Sean Gore coming in on the linebacker, Craig Butler. Reads that run lane for a Harris first down. Harris won three junior championships in Vancouver Island. Far side with Manny Arsenal making the catch. Harris comes back on the field now. Talked about the junior star, Andrew Harris, and what he did playing in Vancouver Island. Yesterday, the Vancouver Island Raiders, his old team, played here trying to get another Canadian ball in this field, but they lost to the Regina Thunder, who are now Canada's junior Let's champions. Let's go! A pretty good turner. Junior football, hugely popular. Well supported here in the province of Saskatchewan. They pump it up again here. Second and five. Here comes the rush. Lula again over the top. Absolutely crushed by Dwight Anderson. Well, that'll give him something to talk about. Manny Arsenault starts at the top of your screen, coming across underneath. Dwight Anderson recognizes, comes off his man, and boom! Oh, no! oh. That was as punishing a hit as you will ever see. But it was great recognition by Anderson because he took a peek. They're trying to clear him out. He saw that route coming and came off his man to put himself in position to make that big hit. This Lions offense now sputtering. Third straight punch now after so many successful turns of putting points on the board. They have also not scored any points against the wind in this game. It is playoff football at its best. Canadian football at its best in November. Hard hitting, fast driving. Best of all, some ground here in Regina. Two in Regina, Saskatchewan. Earlier today, the Hamilton Tiger Cats knocked off the Montreal Alouettes in overtime to advance to the East Final. They'll play in Toronto next week. Calgary awaits the winner of this one. TBA. Neil Hughes, first touch of the game. Speaking of local products, and guys who have played here so many years, veteran Neil Hughes, big play. Let's go down to Farhan. Guys, uh, Corey Sheets is staying in this game because of that touchdown. You know, I spoke to Mike Benavides before the game, but he said Corey Sheets gets so much of his yardage in the second half, it's really important that they play from ahead so that he can't dictate terms. And they were eight points up going, or nine points up going into that last drive. Now you're going to see more of Corey Sheets because it's still a one-score game. More of Corey Sheets means more of this. The guy's got a few nicknames. Rocket, number one. You gotta call him fourth quarter sheets. He picks it up when that game counts, game clock counts down. 